Hey guys, it's me bringing you my week 8 match versus uh, Dropping Dracos and uh, Coach of the Cincinnati Scythers. And they're sitting 4 and 3, and we're sitting 7 and 0. 8 and 0. 7 and 0, yeah. <laughs> and, but he did, he got a 5 0 last week when he, this is, that was his first match here. He 5 0'd. So, yeah, that sounds amazing, doesn't it? Um, so. Um, yeah, he has an Ash Greninja, for one, so he has broken, and then some other things he has, um, he has a Thunderous, he has a Scizor, he has a Gligar, he has a Seizone, he has a Steelix, um, I was, uh, did I say Serena? Okay, anyway, uh, it's Serena, I was guessing Serena over Drapion, but it's fine, I figured Serena would be good for Hippo. It's actually something that offensively pressures that it can spin after we get it. But anyway, um, I didn't lead a Selgor because a Selgor is my only response for offensive response for Greninja immediately. Um, I could have been Scarf Greninja, which would actually would have been smart. <laughs> but it's, Scarf Greninja is not that good in this. But actually, I also actually would probably would have been. It also beat Axor at plus one. So anyway, uh, I still lead Selgor because. I didn't want him to bleed Greninja and get a KO immediately. Uh, I go Hippo because it's my best response, and then he imme immediately goes Slurking. I'm like, well, that's bad. So, I just go out into Greninja. I'm, I'm lucky he didn't go into a uh, bat. That's great. Uh, I say I go Greninja here. U turn does a lot. It shouldn't knock him out, which it doesn't, and he knew that, so he just stayed in. Um, I go Tentacruel because I knew he wouldn't go for Psyche. He actually got, see, it showed reveals the signal beam, which I'm actually guessing the thing is Assault Vest now. Because that's a, it makes sense for that too. Imagine Sue was justified. Anyway, he wasn't justified, so. Uh, he doubles again on the Greninja. Like, well, okay. No, no, no. Does he double? No. Hold on, no, no. Maybe I predicted him. Hold on. <laughs> no. Because on the Glade. No. Yeah, he tried to predict me. No, I see what he's doing. Um, on this, he was trying to catch the, uh, hippo here, but I, I predict him to catch the hippo and go that. Yeah, that's what happened. I, I'm not lying either. <laughs> that's what happened. He helps to go Diancy on the U-turn, which, because he knew he wasn't going for a water move here. I just the U-turn, which is fair. I go Vanilla, he knows that I have Flash Cannon, he knows that, so. Uh, he has to swap here. Go Slow King, I just went for the safe Flash Cannon. There's no reason to predict, because, you know, if he wanted to stay in. Thought about atomizing too, but this is salt vest sloking, by the way. In case I haven't mentioned that, he got a crit there, it does not matter, it's three percent more. Um it goes glade on the tentacle. I knock again. Basically glades will getting weakened anyway, and if I can knock off the slow king, that'd be great. So I get a hippo here, make the safe play. He offers a mega evolve here in SDs. Um not really a problem, I would say, because Earthquake knocks him out from here. But see, I if um no, hold on, why did I saw? I, I knew he wasn't going for, basically, I guess I knew he wasn't going for a fighting, uh, he was going for a fighting move. So, and Drain Punch actually put him out, yeah, that's what I did. Because Hippo actually did not beat a 1v1 unless I went for, uh, Roar, which I don't remember if I had it. When I can check. I, yeah, I did have Roar. So I could have Roared immediately, but that put me so low to the point where it was just better to go Lele and bluff the Scarf. So, I, I predict the soaking here. It's also safe in case he did uh, drop saying it was also safe against that. Uh, because this Spadef drop, he's forced to swap again. So I, I, I just go for Shadow Ball again because, you know, if he opts saying he dropped. And then I swap out Lele, but he goes for the Pursuit, which is bad. Now I'm in range of rocks, if he gets up rocks with uh, Diancy. So I just go Hippo, it's fine. I get rocks up on my own on that, just mentioning rocks. And I go slip Lele here because it's in range of rocks and. I mean, it doesn't really do much with this freaking Assault Vest Slow King that I can't kill. Uh, I go for a U-turn here. Again, it won't knock it out, but, I mean, it's my only move to hit it, I believe. I have just to show it. It's right off the screen, so. I mean, I could go for Night Slash, but, no, it's the same base power. So, either way, I'm not knocking out the thing, and I can't stay in against it because I'm knocking it out. So, I'm always forced to tentacle, and this is making me extremely weak to the current injury at this point, because it was, it was Assault Vest Max, but if tentacle, I did not go over my team. I'll go over it now, it's late though. Uh, I was Choice Specs, Modest Lele, I was Life Orb Greninja with U-Turn, Ice Beam, Night Slash, uh, Hydro, because he was Assault Vest, Night Slash did more to Slow King. 
it has more speed up anyway, so. I was mostly physically defensive, or I was like 252, 220 defense in the hippo. A little bit of speed up. Tentacle max speed up, assault vest, or grenade jokes. Uh, autonomized Venelux, which could win late game potentially. Uh, or can just be Organ Breaker, and then a Cell Gore, just because I kind of needed it for Grenadia. At this point, I knock off his Assault Vest, which is good, but he goes for Psychic, which, because he, he knew at this point, Grenadia is about to just 6 on me. Uh, I don't have a defensive pop into it, so as soon as it comes in, I lose. I go for Giga Drain here, just because it gives me a little bit of help. He should go Grenadia here, which he does, so, you know, there, there's, there, there's a problem. I can't swap ends at this point, because it's on 5%, and why save it? He gets Ash. So, I go with Selgor here. Uh, I double out Vanillix, predicting the Diancy, which it worked out. And obviously, he still wants that Rocks up, because Rocks still 25% from you, 25% from you, and Greninja's down to 12, uh, 42, he doesn't want to take that. I opt to a Totem Eyes here, which is great for me, because I outspeed his entire team. Blizzard will KO you, and basically what he has to do at this point, he can either sat Water Strike him with the Greninja, or he can sack until I'm in, he's in, I'm in range of Water Shirt again. So he opts to do the sacking until I'm in range of Water Shirt again. Because I was barely out of range. I think this, no, one more puts me out of range, in range of Water Shirt again. It's Freeze Dry KO's you. Because he could pivot into Blue Ninja there. He could have played some pivoting games with uh, Flash Cannon, go Drape Beyond, then do that into Greninja, but... I didn't want to predict at this point, and he didn't want to do that either, because obviously Greninja is important. Um, I'm in range of triple hit, so there goes that. I'm like, this is annoying, because, okay, Haxorus comes in, and it's a... <laughs> I can't go Hippo here, because I need help. And then Greninja's at 42, so it doesn't take Water Shirk, so I have to go with Cell Gore here. And then Haxorus can come in, Dragon Dance up, and if it has Z, it does a lot to Hippo. If he crits me, I lose. That's also assuming he is uh, Dragon Dance, which I'm assuming he is. Uh, which he was. So I decided just to sack a Soul Boy here. Because that allows, doesn't allow him to set up anymore. Uh, I go Hippo here. Basically because he can crit me here. So I opt to go ahead and sack Greninja to the Z, which means even crit outrage will not KO me at this point. And Hippo lives, and we win the game. It's a very narrow 1 0. Very good game. Uh, versus him. And he put in, he didn't play that wrong. Just the autonomized vanilla, because it's the second time it's done a lot of work. One, it, it did it against... Vanilla has been carrying me. It Leslie is, uh, leads the league, league in kills right now, too. Uh, which is really cool. Because... <laughs> um... So one of the things he could have done different, again, was pivot around. Because vanilla, he could have had, like, a few more sacks. And actually, he potentially would have won, actually. Think about it now. I get Vanillix in on the. I can't see. He could play pivoting games. Basically, because I'm gonna go for Blizzard here, I wouldn't pivot in yet. I'd sack that. Yeah, like he did. Um, he should. I think what he could have done was pivot into Drapion or Greninja. Or even here. He didn't have to do it then. But just to save Drapion, the sack makes it to the scenario. I did, uh, no, no, what did she get? Like I said, he should have on that because I freeze right there because of uh, Flash Cannon. He could have pivoted in Greninja to Flash Cannon and then sack Drapion or Diancy. I think I would have sacked uh, Diancy at that point because it lost the last of my minds. I think, yeah, he showed me afterwards that was a scarf Drapion. So, I mean, it could still, uh, kill my Greninja afterwards. So he saved, he sacked that, got in his... No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. Okay. Yeah, I thought Greninja killed it, so I was just thinking, how is it Scarf then? But, I guess he could have played a pivoting game, which I don't think... It... <laughs> Had he done that, he still have he has to, still has the Drapion sack. I don't think he won anyway, though. Because I think I just had enough pieces still to win the game. But anyway, we win. We move to 8 now. We face second-ranked team week 9. Uh, Jason Gallade, he's sitting 7-1. So we'll see you guys there.